In this code clip, we are going to learn how to add a row to a data frame in R. First, we're going to load in a data set and break off a row to add. So we're going to be adding this Mazda RX row to the end of the data frame. Now, to add a row, you just use the rbind function. You pass in the data frame you're adding to as the first argument, and then the row you're adding as the second argument. So we'll run this, and this uh, Mazda should be saved at the end of this data frame. It's also the first entry, but we're adding it as a new row to the end as well. So here we can see that new row has been added. Now, adding rows is a bit trickier than adding columns because the row has to be in the form of a data frame itself, and the columns for that row have to match the columns you're adding to. So if we wanted to add... Um, a row that wasn't just something broken off from the original data frame. If we just wanted to add new values, we'd have to go through a couple more steps. So I'll show how to do that. So here we're creating a new row. To do that, we're using the data frame function. These are the values we want for each of the 11 columns. We are giving the row a name. This will be the row index. So you, we create this, but we can't directly add this to our empty cars data frame right away because the, ro the, ro the column names will not match the data frame. So we'll run this and it will fail. We've created this new row, but you can see these default column names don't match the original ones. So to actually add this new row, we have to do this additional step where we set the names for the new row equal to the names of the original data frame. And once we do that, we can do our same construction with rbind here and it should work. So now you can see the new row has been successfully added because we made these column names match. We have a new row just with any values we wanted to fill here. In this case, we just did, we counted to 11. So that is how you add a row to a data frame. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.